Hey, what's up, everybody? I finished um, I finished some stuff right now, so I'm super excited. I realized that I got a lot of stuff done, and I have a little bit of downtime. I'm cooking something right now. I'm cooking. Let's go check on what I'm cooking, actually. I don't want it to get burnt. Um, but life is good. Uh, life is amazing. I hope that your life is great, too. New Year's is coming. Oh, yeah, that's looking nice. Making some ground beef. New Year's is coming. So I do want to say something about that. That if you guys have some goals and you're putting it off because you're like, wait, no, I can't start till the new year. No, start now. Start today. Because every day that you put you put it off, that you tell your, you're telling yourself, this is not me. Which is all right. Like if you have a goal and you decide that it's not for you, that's one thing. But if you're telling yourself, I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to do it later because later it'll be better. No, there's no. How does that make sense that later it'll be better? La later, I'll, I'll be so much more like able to do it. Like that doesn't just because you're a month older or like a month later that makes zero sense because you're going to have the same kind of knowledge. You're going to have the same kind of skill set that you are in a month. So it, it actually just puts you further back. It actually hinders you instead of taking your first step, initiating that, that, that final, um, that final step and starting something, you know, that's the, that's the step. The first step is just taking action because every time that you don't take action, you are telling yourself that you are not that person that you want to be. And, um, so I did a 5k, 5k Spartan race this year. I did a 5k running, uh, just with no obstacles. And I will, I'm going to do another 5k possibly in two weeks. There's, there's an event. I can't, it's pretty secretive, so I can't talk about it. Hopefully I, uh, I will say that it's a certain kind of event. It's not just a 5k. There is, it has to do with media. So I, there's like a TV show possibly. I can't really speak on it too much, but there's something going on at the 5k. So I hope I do get to be a part of it. Um, and this year, you know, I've been consistent with YouTube. I haven't really stopped uploading um, I took a little bit of a break just cause I got so busy, but I decided, you know, I'm, it's really easy to just talk to you guys, to share my thoughts. Um, and what else working out? I've been pretty consistent with that eating. My eating has been like, I don't know, all over the place. Some, some I've been binge eating a lot, um, because I do this thing where I don't eat breakfast really cause I have coffee. My lunch, I have a, I sometimes have a small lunch and then I go to the gym and after the gym, man, I am starved of carbs. I'm starved of just nutrition in general. So I usually just buy a huge bag of chips because I'm like starving and I really want to carb load. So I just <laughs> eat a whole bag of chips and then have a big dinner and I just ruin what I did, you know, for the day. So I do need to get better with planning out my meals and just eat accordingly instead of just binge eating at night. That is one thing that I need to get better with. But staying active uh, physically, being better emotionally, you know, more um, emotionally secure, I, I am. And being introspective has helped a lot, you know, not avoiding not avoiding who I am or not avoiding the mistakes that I make. I saw this, um, I made a video on him, but there was this kid, I say kid, he's 21, I believe. Um, and one of his videos get, went a bit viral and I reacted to it because he made a lot of good points. He's very vulnerable and uh, it, it kind of reminds me of when I was younger too. You know, I just said what I felt. And today he made a video on uh, his ex and he was talking about how like, 
I don't know. He he was he was sharing a lot of deep emotional, you know, insecurities and stuff like that. And it made me realize, you know, it is it is pretty cool because I have videos from like a lot of old times where I look back and I'm like, man, I didn't know what I was talking about that time, but I tried, you know, and that's all I can do now. I can only go off like 2020 is uh, hindsight is 2020 or I think that's what it is where you, you don't know where things are going to go until you do. The best thing you can do is use the knowledge that you have now. And that's what I'm doing. Um, this upcoming year is, oh man, there are, I have so many opportunities left and right and where my life is headed. And I am so excited to see where, where it goes. Because this year, if, if it's, if this year has taught me anything is that I'm okay. And I'm going to be okay. It's just like, it's just following through. It's just following through on things, putting myself more out there, you know, because a lot of people just don't even try to put themselves out there because it's scary or you're uncomfortable, you're anxious or you're stressed or you already put yourself out there yesterday. You already put yourself out there last, like the whole year. So why are you going to keep doing that? And it's to grow. To grow. And I'm going to push myself. I'm going to push myself to, you know, uh, the something that I, you know, that I've heard and uh, supposedly these studies is that there's a lot of people that don't get job promotions just because they don't ask. You know, it's just because they don't ask. Obviously, there's more nuance, you know, some some places really don't hire, don't promote within. But there is also, you know, those jobs where you don't know. It's like asking a girl for her number. You don't know that she's going to say no. She might say no. She might say yes. You don't know until that happens. It's the Schrodinger's cat. The cat is alive and dead at the same time. You don't know until you open the box. So just open the box. Just go through with it. Ask ask your boss for a raise. If they say no, okay, well, you're, you're making the same amount of money. What changed? Now your boss knows that you want, a, you want a better pay. So there is that possibility that they take you up on it or that you find another job that gives you that pay that you want, you know, it, it, it puts it out there. It puts it into your mind where I want this. So I'm going to get it, go out and get it. All right, guys. <laughs> uh, hopefully you got motivated from today. I know it's a little different from, uh, the recent videos. I don't know. I don't know what, it, uh, it was also, I felt like I needed to say the things that I had to get off my chest the last two videos. And a lot of people, I don't know, a few, the few people who commented were really like sad. And, you know, I'm not going to talk more about that, but I just want to say like, be happy and it's okay if things don't go your way. Just keep going there. You shouldn't be sad. Even, even if things are sometimes hard or sad, you can do it. Don't get hung up on, I don't want to see, I don't want to see sad things. Okay, so I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.